Hello, Scorpio and Cross Watchers. This is Malibu Scorpion Tarot. Here to bring you another reading for the channel for the day commencing Monday, August 16th, 2021. It's about seven minutes after 6 a.m. So for those of you, uh, if you're new to my channel, uh, welcome. Uh, this is a channel that is completely, uh, really much dedicated to the Scorpio energy. So welcome to the Scorpio hub. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody, for all of your comments. Um, you know, every time I upload a video and you guys are making comments, um, we hit nine, uh, we hit 9,000 subscribers. That is fantastic. Um, thank you so much. And on, uh, yesterday morning, guess what, you guys, we hit a major milestone for the channel. We reached over a million views. In fact, when I checked it just a few minutes ago, we were at 1,024,000 some odd views. Um, I, I can't even express my gratitude to all of you Scorpios out there that have stopped by the channel. So whether you're just a viewer or you're a subscriber to the channel, my God, you guys, I never, you know, you kind of visualize and you imagine in your mind like, oh yeah, what would it be like, you know, to hit, you know, a million views and, uh, or hit X amount of, you know, subscribers, etc. You know, you think about that stuff every now and then. And, um, it did manifest. It did manifest. And uh, thank you so much for all of your love and support. I am going to be doing personal readings all through this week. I have a lot of you guys that have paid through PayPal um, that I have you guys on my list. So um, after I'm out of work today, uh, that is what I'm going to be doing. Um, just to let you know, I barely get a lot of sleep. <laughs> I barely <laughs> Because I'm constantly either recording for the channel or I'm recording for personal readings. If you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. Um, I think I am off of my memory right now. Uh, I think on this past Thursday, I think I had answered close to 30 emails, you guys, and the my email box is still heavily slammed. So um, have no fear. I will get to you as soon as I can. But if those who have booked a reading, uh, it's basically everybody's first come, first serve basis. Okay. Uh, just so I can keep up <clears throat> with everybody. I have everybody scheduled either for a particular day or a particular time frame that I am going to record for a personal reading. So if I don't answer your email right away, that is a major reason why. Okay. So don't feel offended. I'm, I'm still here. Okay. Um, it's just taken me more than longer than expected. So, um, but yeah, I will get to you as soon as I can. Usually, um, while a video is uploading for a client, I'm usually back on, uh, into my email box and answering the emails as fast as possible. But like I said, I think, huh, yeah, I think I had answered close to 30, 30 emails um, just on Thursday alone. And that took me a good, I want to say it took me a good four and a half, five hours just to do that. Because a lot of you send me your stories, um, your situations, uh, you know, and what's going on with you. And so I have to read, <clears throat> I have to read through all that information who you're dealing with, um, you know, looking through your questions. So, um, yeah, just be patient. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. I'll get the job done like I always do. Okay. So, um, but yeah, thank you, you guys. I can't believe it. We, we hit over a million views. We hit 9,000 subscribers. This is incredible. And remember a channel only thrives due to its viewers and subscribers. So, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. A lot of good information uh, headed in your direction, Scorpio. So without further ado, let's go ahead and call in our trusted ancestors to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is.
rolling the dice to see what we need to shuffle the deck to today. I have the power of number four. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aries. Power of number 10, we could see the Wheel of Fortune card kick in. Some of you guys could be dealing with a fixed sign, a Taurus, a Leo, an Aquarius, or another Scorpio, such as yourself. And the power of a number seven. Some of you guys are dealing straight up with a Cancerian and or a Leo throughout the month of July. Okay. So, looks like we are going to the power of number 21. 21 is definitely a power number. We could see the world card show up. So there could be endings to old karmic cycles, okay, so that new beginnings can happen. And with the power of number 21, 21, you can manifest things in 21 days, you guys. You can make or break a habit in 21 days. I ring the bell 21 times to call in our trusted ancestors, okay? So we could see the emperor card again, the chariot card, wheel of fortune, and the world card. So there's, there could be a fate and uh, twist and turn of events for you, Scorpio. Okay, so let's go to the deck. I call upon, again, the trusted ancestors and my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers and my Sicilian trusted ancestors to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through this deck, <clears throat> through the power of number 21, and so it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20 and 21 trusted ancestors what is the main focal point of energy for the day commencing monday august 16 2021 in regards to scorpio's specific person and who they are dealing with who they are thinking about the most who they are in love with the most what does this person want to say to scorpio today please what's up whoa wow Oh, boy. Ha. Well. Ten of Swords. This person knows, Scorpio, that they backstabbed and betrayed you. Mmm. I feel the guilt <clears throat> piling up. Oh, yeah. Because that Five of Cups in my mind's eye is pulsating very strongly and it could also be two we'll find out we'll see we'll see what the numbers say your person scorpio could have gotten backstabbed and betrayed by somebody else third party situation you know it's interesting because the energy has been creeping up over the last few days Especially since uh, yesterday's reading was about, you know, an apology. And I think uh, third party situation betraying your person, Scorpio. If they, Whatever it is. If it's a person, if it's a situation. Ooh, this is juicy. This is going to be some kind of cup of coffee or cup of tea going on here. In fact, I got my coffee going on. Ooh. Oh my God. Bottom of the deck, the moon card. Yeah, there were some major secrets. Major betrayal behind the scenes. Whoo, baby. Mm. Mm. Hmm. See, a lot of you guys have already gone through this. Oh, I'm going to be clarifying this Ten of Swords. Because this person has something to say. Mm-hmm. They've got something to say. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, boy. 
Oh, what's on the bottom of the deck? See, wow. See, Scorpio, <clears throat> we've seen this energy come up on the bottom of the deck before. The Nine of Pentacles. See, a lot of you guys had no choice at one point in time to move on and start focusing in on yourself, your personal dreams and goals. Get back into your self-empowerment. The Nine of Pentacles. So <clears throat> there are things possibly going on in your life right now, Scorpio, that are on the grow, that are coming into fruition. Yeah, you may be thinking about this person, Scorpio. There's no doubt about it and what they did to you. But I feel like this person, oh boy, I can feel the regret. I mean, the regret is so deep <clears throat> because they're going to, a lot of them can feel the vibration that you're thriving, okay? And now I feel like there's a turnaround. See, this I'm feeling this energy that had came in from like a few days back or last week. You know, with you guys bossing up, getting back into your confidence, getting into your strength, getting into your self-empowerment, and, and, and good things happening for you, Scorpio. And it's like, I feel like this person wants to be a part of that. See, once you obtain some form of success... Some of them will be turning, turn their asses right back around to be like, hey, how are you? Huh, what's going on? <laughs> uh-huh. Whew. They've been hiding something, Scorpio, or they're hiding that they got backstabbed and betrayed by a third-party situation. This is what I'm picking up because you guys have already been through this. You've already been through the betrayal. Can't go through the betrayal again. Betrayal is betrayal. It's done. It's there. It's it, it's already happened. Okay. So, this is some new information. This is what I'm picking up. This is like new information. So, trusted ancestors, why is Scorpio's person coming in like the Ten of Swords? Why do they want to tell Scorpio the Ten of Swords energy? What the hell is going on here? I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> But in a good way, I guess. I don't know. What is this all about? Okay. Queen of Cups technically is coming up in the reverse. But okay. Now I'm seeing this more in the upright. Okay, yeah. They backstabbed and betrayed you. Or it could be. If they are dealing with a third party situation, they could be dealing with another water sign. They could be dealing with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio themselves. You never know. It doesn't really matter. Or that third party situation could have water in their chart. But they know that they backstabbed and betrayed you. So the real question is, if they know this and you know it, why would they even be compelled? Why would they even be compelled? Well, see, Toto's barking. There's, it's like she's picking up on the energy. Why would they be so compelled to bring this information up? There might be, there might be an apology. All right, Toto, that's enough. Stop. There might be an apology going on between this ten of swords. Toto, that is enough, baby girl. Now stop. Okay, now she's hearing a, a truck outside. Okay, they can hear you, honey. They know you're, yes, they know you're here. Now stop. Go lay down. Okay. There could be an apology that is going on here between the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Cups. I'm picking this up. So what I would like to see, in order for this person to explain themselves, so that they don't confuse you guys, because you already feel the hurt, you already feel the pain, they are, they've already been through this, or they are feeling the pain that you are feeling, Scorpio. But I feel that there's a rightfully owed apology. So what I would like to see is like the Page of Cups or the Two of Cups come in between this Ten of Swords and you. Okay, 
Trusted ancestors again. Why is this person coming in as the Ten of Swords towards Scorpio? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. See, look. Three of Swords in the reverse. They want to heal the situation with you. And it could also be two. Because you guys have already been through this, right? You've already been through this. So I feel that there was some form of heartbreak that is happening in the here and the now. Okay? Happening in the here and the now between if it's your person, Scorpio, and this other situation that they could be dealing with. Okay? Yeah, see, they want to have reconciliation, the star card. This person, Scorpio, could be very popular among their peers or literally they could be a celebrity, okay? They could be a celebrity or they're just very highly talented, very creative. They want to reconcile. Some of you guys are dealing with an air sign. I mean, I've got a lot of air energy going on right now. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and straight up Aquarius with the star card. And here you are. Wow. Why do they want to reconcile? Let's see. We're going to put that down for the three of swords. Hang on one second. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 17 for the star card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 for the Queen of Cups. Okay. And then let's see here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. Okay, so I'm going to put a card between, I want to see what the hell's going on between this Ten of Swords and you, Scorpio, and why this person is coming in this way. Let's see. Trusted ancestors, why does this person that Scorpio has dealt with before or currently in the moment or this person from the past... Why are they wanting to heal the situation between them and Scorpio? What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay. Because they knew that they were breadcrumbing you. So six of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy, equal give and take, equal reciprocity, not being one-sided. See, they, they were giving time and energy to other people, places, things, and situations. And I feel that they got hurt or backstabbed and betrayed. By some form of a third party situation or this third party situation started breadcrumbing your person, Scorpio. Okay. Why do they want reconciliation with Scorpio again? Why? Okay. Eight of Swords coming up in the reverse. Okay. So they put themselves into their own <clears throat> Harry Houdini self-imposed prison. They didn't know which way was up, which way was down. And they kept overthinking, overanalyzing, and just made themselves like feeling like they were in some form of a claustrophobic position. However, it came up in the reverse. So the Eight of Swords shows me that somebody is re either releasing control issues or they're getting out of their head. Okay? They're getting out of their head or they're seeing something clearly now. Or they're seeing something clearly about... Whatever this third party situation is, okay. Um, I'm feeling there's an energy going on between the Eight of Swords and the Three of Swords. There's something going on here. It's like feeling like a cross, a cross energy here, okay. All right. What is the message from the Queen of Cups in regards to Scorpio's person, please? What is this all about? The wishing well. Okay. Yeah, you are their wish, Scorpio. Ha, huh. I just heard my trusted ancestors say they knew better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They knew better, Scorpio. Of course they did. I feel like your person's rehashing this a little bit in their mind. Just a little bit. Or they're rehashing it. What they did to you. So like I said, I feel like, you know, again, there's like some form of guilt going on. What's going on between the Ten of Swords and this Queen of Cups? What's up with this? Ooh. Emperor in the reverse. Okay. 
they know that they didn't give you full blown out commitment or this could be a boss figure or somebody that they could be dating that is a boss could be a sign of a uh, sign of Aries coming in. They know in the past, yeah, they didn't give you full blown out commitment. Okay, they know this. But I feel that they got betrayed and or manipulated or they're going to get manipulated by whatever this third party situation is. They're going to get backstabbed and betrayed. This is it. This is some tea right now because here you are Scorpio and it's like you're their wish. You're this loving, nurturing energy, male or female Scorpio, doesn't matter, okay? You're this loving, nurturing person by nature, okay? And having this wish fulfillment with you, it's like you are their star. You are their shining star or they see you. You yourself, Scorpio, could be in the public eye or your popularity is growing or maybe you have your own business, okay? And now you're thriving or you're leveling or bossing up in a company, okay? They're picking up on some kind of signal or vibe. And you know what? They all that here I'm hearing the phrase all that glitters is not gold. So whatever whoever they were dealing with, I'm going to set you guys over here just for a moment. Whoever they were dealing with, they got backstabbed and betrayed by somebody who is in some kind of upper position or they are going to who the hell is the emperor in the reverse? Somebody that they could have dealt with from their past. And at the same time, they want to revitalize the past with you, Scorpio. Show me the six of cups. The magician could be a sign of Gemini. See... With that emperor being in the reverse and the magician, this is somebody who was controlling or manipulating a situation. So, yes, your person could have been controlling and manipulating a situation towards you, Scorpio, before in the past. Now I feel like somebody in their past or somebody that they have dealt with before was trying to control and or manipulate them. Because that emperor is in the reverse. And here's the empress. I hate to see it, but somebody could have tried to trap this person with a baby because the Empress is about mother energy. But at the same time, too, the other messages that are swirling around is that this person also wants to have a brand new beginning and also wants to build something with you, Scorpio. Your person could be an entrepreneur. They could be having some trouble in their business. They could be having issues with their finances for some of them, not all of them. What is the Empress? The Queen of Wands, see, this could be about, again, third-party situation, male or female, doesn't matter. Mm. Who is the Queen? Okay, King of Wands. Okay, somebody that from their past that they could have been attracted to, okay, that they would have returned back to, but something here is not going to work out because... Three of Swords is in the reverse, something about healing, and they're trying to see the situation for what it is, but at the same time, we have a power couple here, too, that your person, Scorpio, some of you guys are dealing straight up with uh, fire signs, Aries, Leo, and or Sagittarius, this person still has attraction for you because, again, you are their wish fulfillment, Scorpio. Man, this person, yeah, world card, there's going to be an ending, there's going to be an ending to whoever your person is dealing with or whatever situation your person is dealing with. I think somebody got played. Yeah. Something here became, there was like a missed opportunity. And Scorpio, your person ended up having a missed opportunity with you but see now they're going to try to come in and also try to revitalize the relationship here what is the four of cups I'm trying to feel what way this energy wants to go okay so seven of wands 
Okay, yeah, somebody here, if somebody's trying to come in and reach out to you, they want you to let down your guard, Scorpio, with the Seven of Wands in the reverse. They're wanting you to let down your guard. Okay, so let's see what the wishing well. Why are you this person's wish? Counting in my head for this wishing well. See, they want to move forward with you. Six of swords. They want to get out of some kind of clouded situation with you. How are they going to do that? By Well, they have to release and let go of burden. Something became burdensome in whatever it is that they are dealing with. Or it's going to be getting burdensome within the next 10 weeks for a lot of them. Bottom of the deck, 10 of cups. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to put this back here. I am going to focus in a little bit more. Why, again, trusted ancestors, is this person coming in as the Ten of Swords towards Scorpio? Yeah, the devil. Okay, they were dealing with the devil, basically. They were lying. They were deceptive towards you, Scorpio. Yes, for a lot of you. But I feel like that's all past tense energy. King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Okay. Um, there was some form of betrayal. And yet at the same time, I feel like this because that Queen of Cups with the wishing well, this person is obsessing over you too. What is the devil? And they went, for some of them, they went into a toxic situation, a toxic relationship again. It's like your person, if they're dealing with somebody else, they're repeating same old karmic patterns and cycles. That's the reason why we saw the world card on the bottom of the deck, the six of wands. Okay, so this is about good news coming in. Person, yeah, Wheel of Fortune. I said we could see the Wheel of Fortune card. There's like a faded or twist or turn of events here. There it is. This person is going to come running back to you, Scorpio. Mmm. Because you called them out. You told them. If they went to go be with somebody else, you told them, for a lot of you guys, told them that this person is mediocre. You told them that they're repeating basically the same old patterns. You, you did everything in your power to convince them and say, no, basically, quote unquote, come to the light. You know what I'm saying? And it's not that the dark is evil. Dark is just dark. Light is just light. But it's the perception of them. You knew that they were going into a toxic situation. You knew that they were dealing with a toxic person or that you knew that it was just something that was very karmic. Like you just saw them. If you saw them being with this other person, you just knew flat out, Scorpio, that it's not a match made in heaven. For your person and this other person. Now, see, they got guilt, remorse, regret. Thank you, trusted ancestors, for the confirmation on that five of cups I was seeing in my mind's eye. Why do they have so much guilt, remorse, regret? See, they're trying to find the courage and the strength. Some of you guys are dealing with a Virgo and or a Leo throughout the month of August. Or just a Leo or Virgo in general. They got guilt, remorse, regret, and they're trying to find the courage and the strength to come forward. Again, wish fulfillment, bottom of the deck. Judgment. See, yeah, yeah, I told you. They're going to be coming back for a second chance. They want to revitalize their relationship because everything in their life is going to shit, basically. This is what I'm picking up. It's like the energy. The moment they walked away from you, Scorpio, that's when, boom, karma was starting to kick in. Because your person knew better. That's the problem. They, they they knew better. They freaking knew better. Some of you guys are dealing with a Virgo. Some of these uh, partners of yours went into um, hermit mode. See, 
Two of Cups. They want to reconcile with you. Big time. Big time. They knew better than to go and move, try to attempt to go be with somebody else. But see, they could have been getting karmic, getting karmic lessons, karmic cycles. Now they're thinking about the things that you said to them, Scorpio, because your intuition is that damn spot on. You could have forewarned them about a mother figure. You could have forewarned them about a father figure, their brother, their, their sister, their siblings, their grandparents, their friends, their bromances, the excessive women. I mean, you told them. Ooh. Show me the Virgo energy. See, yeah, racing and charging to have one, now wanting to have victory here with you. Knight of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, slow moving process. Well, I'm going to say they're going to have to hustle their ass and come forward fast because this is, you know, honestly, three, four, five, six, seven. It's bullshit. Yeah, see, now they want to race and charge ahead and have the Ten of Cups with you and the Sun card, sign of Leo. We're still in Leo season right now. Uh huh. Yeah. They, they learned some major karmic lesson or they're learning it in the present moment. Because you called them out. Now they're recognizing and realizing. Wow. All right, Scorpio. I'll be back before you know it with another reading for the channel.